Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I am back with the Bianca wig. If you guys haven't heard the news, I have my own wig with RPG show. It's literally called Bianca and of course it's got these fabulous curls. So now that you have your curly wig, I want to show you how to maintain it and wash it so your curls can always be fabulous. If you haven't seen my original unboxing of this wig, make sure you check out this video. I'll go ahead and put it right here so you can see how the wig will arrive exactly when you open it. But now this is how it looks freshly washed. I was able to get some extra length out of it, got rid of some of that shrinkage. And because it is a full lace wig, I was able to switch the part from a middle part to a side part. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in today's video. And I'm gonna show you how to properly wash these curls. Starting off in a clean sink, we're gonna completely saturate the hair in cool water. Then I'm gonna grab some shampoo. This is the Maui Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo. And it's always best to use a sulfate-free shampoo when washing curly hair. Curly hair is usually more dry than straight hair in general, so you always wanna get something that's extra moisturizing. You really wanna focus on the lace part if you use a lot of gel or glue or any type of product buildup that might be sitting on the hairline. After that, you're gonna completely rinse out all the shampoo and grab your conditioner. This conditioner is the Mayel Mongongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner, one of my favorite conditioners because it has good slip. If a conditioner has really good slip, then that means it's really easy to detangle. And when detangling curly hair, it's best to use your fingers. So as you can see, I'm gonna gently glide my fingers through the hair, getting rid of all the knots and tangles. You can use a brush, but I'd only recommend it on soaking wet hair while the conditioner is still in there if you want to get some extra definition. But this wig has such a great curl pattern that I'm going to elongate my curls just by using my fingers, and it also reduces shedding. To give this hair some extra love, and I'm going to do a deep conditioning treatment because this conditioner can double as a deep conditioner. And I'm going to let all the nutrients soak into the hair and put it in this plastic bag for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you'll notice that your curls are now beautifully moisturized, shiny, and defined. This conditioner really does the job. And then you're going to rinse it all out with cool water. Now I'm gonna apply my styler of choice, which is the Diva Curl Super Cream. You don't wanna add too much of a styling product so you don't get too much product buildup, but just a little bit should do, just to make sure we don't get any frizz. We're gonna smooth this along all the curls to really get some more curl definition. You even can grab certain curls that you see are kinda looking less defined, and you're gonna smooth the product onto the cuticle and kinda twirling it around your finger if need be to get that extra curl pattern. To dry the curls, you could just let them sit on a towel, but I like some extra volume, so I will be drying my curls upside down. So I have these clips, I clipped it onto a hanger, and I'm going to let them air dry for as long as possible. Just like regular curly hair, it did take more than a few hours, so I just let it dry overnight. And now, the next day, they're beautifully defined, dry, and ready to wear. If you watched my first video, you noticed that this wig came with a middle part, but because it is lace, you're able to switch up your part. So now I'm gonna change it to the side, get a different look out of it, but as you can see, the lace is very noticeable. So let me show you how you could blend this in to make it look more believable. Grabbing my Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel, I'm going to lay down those baby hairs and add a good amount to lock the wig in place. And I'm going to grab a blow dryer to make the glue dry a little bit faster, make it a little bit more stickier. And then you're going to pull it forward and press it down. Once you have your wig exactly where you want it, you can grab your blow dryer again, just to make sure that it dries in place. favorite part we're going to pick it out and get some more volume I like my hair to be very big volumized making sure all those curls are popping let's go ahead and give it a little fluff to add some more pizzazz my last little curl trick that I like to do even on my own curly hair is if you see any frizzy pieces that you want to add some more definition to, simply get some water, smooth it down, and then grab your favorite styler. I'm going to grab my Diva Curl Super Cream just a little bit and then smooth it on the curl. Now, what you're going to do is wrap the hair around your finger 
around and around and around, keep going. Hold it for a couple seconds and then gently pull it down. Voila, beautiful curls. Here is the finished look with the side part a little bit fluffed out, super clean and defined curls. I am definitely happy with this and I love that I can switch it up from making my curls look longer, I could do a side part because of the lace, because it is real human hair. This is a very high quality, good wig, so those curls are lasting. They don't just like wash out when you wash them. Treat it just like you would your own curly hair if you do have curly hair. So now that it is dry and styled, here is a complete 360 of how fabulous these curls look. Nice and defined, good volume, and not too much shrinkage. If you're thinking about investing in a curly wig of your own, I definitely recommend the Bianca wig from RPG Show. I'll make sure to put all the information below in the description box, as well as the link to the website, which is rpgshow.com. So now that I've showed you how to wash the wig, maintain it, style it, I hope I at least deserve the subscribe, right? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And we can be like best friends if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.